Hello friends, I'm Rita Boyer, educator at Prospect Presbyterian Church in Maplewood, New Jersey. Thank you for joining me for the Connect Ed lesson for October the 17th, although you can watch this at any time. And special thanks to our good friends at Seasons of the Spirit for giving us permission to use their curriculum online. If you have been watching our Connect Ed Storytime videos each week, you may think that today's story sounds an awful lot like a story that we heard a couple of weeks ago. In fact, you may think that I'm a little confused and I'm telling you the exact same story again, but I'm not. The reason the two stories sound so much alike is because the disciples sometimes ask Jesus the very same questions. The disciples didn't learn their lesson the first time, and so they had to keep learning the same lesson. Have you ever done that? Have you ever found yourself asking something that you've asked before? I know I have because we don't learn everything easily. We don't learn things immediately. And so we find that we ask again and we have to hear it a few times before we actually understand it and let it sink in so that we remember the lesson that we've learned. Jesus had to teach those disciples the same lessons again and again, as we will hear in today's story, which comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verses 35 through 45. The story that we are sharing today is titled, Close to Jesus. The disciples traveled with Jesus from town to town. They loved hearing Jesus' stories. They enjoyed watching him and spending time with him, seeing how he acted with the people who came to be near him. When they were close to Jesus, they felt close to God. They felt God's love deep inside of them and all around them too. One day, two of Jesus' disciples, James and John, had a favor to ask of Jesus, something that they thought only he could do. Jesus, they said, when you're living in the glory of God, we want to be closer to you than anyone else. So we want you to save us the seats of honor so that one of us is sitting on your right and the other of us is sitting on your left. Well, when the other disciples heard what James and John were asking, they were mad. They loved Jesus too, after all. They said, that's not fair. Why should you get the seat right next to Jesus? Well, we want to be next to him, too. Then Jesus spoke up. I love all of you, and I want you to love each other the way that I love you. Whoever among you wants to be great must be a helper to others. Jesus invited all of his disciples to stand close to one another and to him, and then said, we are all one family in God's love. I show that love by serving others, not by being served. And I want you to do the same. So once again, we heard that Jesus' disciples were caught arguing about who was the greatest. Do you remember that happening before? Yes. The last time it happened, Jesus brought a child in front of them 
and said that they needed to be more like that child. Well, those disciples sound pretty silly in today's story, but I think I understand James and John wanting to sit next to Jesus. I think we can all remember times when we wanted to sit next to someone who is special to us. That's understandable. But James and John wanted a little bit more than that. They wanted Jesus to show that he thought they were the greatest disciples by giving them the best seats, the seats closest to him. Well, Jesus had something surprising to say about that. Jesus said, you want to be great? Serve others. Well, the activity that you will find at ppcfaithformation.org is something you can make at home, a mobile. You'll find the instructions right here. All you need uh, are some colored pencils or crayons or markers, some scissors, maybe some string or yarn and a hanger if you have it, a stick would do, something that you can tie these pictures to. For our prayer today, I want us to thank God for the helpers, the people who are really great in our lives and in our communities because they are amazing helpers. Can you think of a helper? How about a teacher? Teachers are helpers, right? Help us learn so many things. Sometimes they answer our questions over and over again. Can you think of other helpers? Call out some names of people who are helpers. I'm trying to hear you. There are a lot of helpers. Have you named some? I'm going to ask you to name them again in today's prayer. I want you to say them nice and loudly, all right? We thank you, God, for all of the helpers that you give us for so many helpers. May we be great helpers, too. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great week. Bye-bye.